Hello IT pros and welcome back one more time to my IT workshop. So in this video we are going to continue uh, configuring um, um, scripting on Python and I'm going to follow up to this video that I made uh, like four days ago, five days ago, configuring ports, configure ports on a Cisco device using Python. Okay. So if you haven't watched this vi uh, that video, you can do it in the top right of this screen. That's for the playlist or in the video description below. Okay, so I have the script over here and I just changed the name. So push commands version two, the other, was, the other one was push commands, just that. And on this one, I'm going to make it like um, user friendly. So you maybe you have many coworkers and you want to share this or a variation of this script so they can type their own username and password. Because for this one, as you can see here, uh, I have already put my username and password and the IP address and the global, it's not the global, I don't remember the name, but it's the configuration terminal command. So you can configure VLANs, so you can configure ports and all that, and the passwords and all the beautiful things that <laughs> Cisco has, all right? Now we're going to modify this a little so you have like a menu when you ask the clients, um, when you're going to ask the clients like the IP address or the name or the username and password and all that. Okay. So for that, uh, we're going to, uh, first I'm going to show you that I'm logged into the switch as you can, as we have been doing in other videos. So I'm just going to type show IP interface brief. Oh, it's showing like that, so this is way better. So in the last video, we were again linked in the description below. We were working on interfaces um, 15 to 20, if I remember correctly. So we were closing these interfaces from here to here. I just chose this, um, uh, this range 15 to 20 at random. It can be anything. It can be 20, it can be whatever you want. So now we're going to, we can use the same or we can change it to, I don't know, 15 to 25. It doesn't make a difference. I just, I just want to show you that all of them are like in the last video. They are all up. Nothing is connected to them, but they are in, in app uh, state. So if you connect something to it, it's going to have a network. Now we're going to like, a, let, yeah, let's use from port 15 to 25. So we're going to do 10 ports now and we're going to shut them down, all right? So I just wanted to show you that and we're going to come back here for the name, maybe. All right, so this is the script that we have created uh, last week and we're going to modify it a little. So the first thing we're going to do is all of this is our template, so that allows us to connect to a Cisco device using the library NetMiko. Again, that's the first video in the series. If you are interested in that, you can click in the top right of this screen. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to change a few things. For example, what so we're going to do first is we're going to come a little over here and we're going to type, this is a variable, you can call it anything that you may like. So I'm just going to call it uh, uh, div oh, that was okay. Divide network device name. So an input, and we're going to type. We're going to ask the client to type uh, the IP address or the DNS name. For us, it's going to be the IP address because I don't have a DNS server at home but uh, it can be the DNS, DNS name as well. Name of the device. So that's good. Then we can use the username. Username, I cannot spell very well. Username, and it's going to be the same input. I'm just going to copy a little of this because it's going to be kind of the same. Uh, type the username the username and then we're going to need of course the password for the cisco switch and we're going to do this input type the password so we have that and as you remember oh this is going to be password of course it's not going to be username password and we're going to need one more password if you remember that's the password for the global command mode so we can do configuration so we can we are going to call it um, pass config 
again these are just variables you can call it anything that is more um, more useful to you now um, type password for config mode or oh, enable no it's not enabled or oh, for um, you can call it anything you, you might like I'm just calling it something that uh, for me it's uh, very obvious what we need to type so we do this otherwise it's going to look a little ugly and then we have this the first port and last port so this script is specifically specifically for ports but of course you can as i have shown you in the last video and in the many other videos that i have done with python you can do any script that you may like it's not necessary ports can be villains can be you can pull some configurations for uh, from the switch so you know what's going on and all that so for this one we're going to do the same uh it's going to be input input type the first port and this uh, the last port is all going to be kind of the same type the last port like that and now here comes the interesting part well i don't know if it's interesting but since these are variables we're going to change it over here so the network device name is going to be instead of the ip address that we have that we hard coded here in the host part for the dictionary so we have to change that then the username as you can as we have as you can see me logging in the past is salvadry so the username is going to be that and the password for the um, for the device itself is this one so i'm going to change it for a variable and the pass config is going to be the one over here the secret password so if uh, in most cases if you're in a company most likely you are using uh what's uh, takas i believe it was takas so that one allows you to with your credentials that you log into your computer you can log into any other uh, network device so in that case that one these two password password and secret in most cases is going to be the same right so you will you would only need one password you would have to repeat this password over here so that's pretty much it in my case i don't have that and i have different password for for logging to the switch in this case uh, for the configuration mode so i have two different ones but it can be the same so we have that now uh, the rest is going to be exactly the same so let's see what happens. I'm going to save it. And as you can see, I'm in the switch already. I'm in the switch already. So we're going to, as you can see, everything is down. Oh, uh, I have to change the, the command as well. I forgot that. No shut because they, they are already in, in up state. So I'm just going to change it to shut. So we are going to close them down from, uh, what, we, what did we say? From 15 to 25, right? So we're going to do all of those. So now we are going to save it again because I made some changes a few seconds ago and we're going to run it and my result is in the other screen. So what it says, uh, network device, host, network device name is not defined. All right, I'm going to close this. Why is that? Mm, okay, because um, the, the script starts here and we don't have this yet right so we have to put that information but this one is all that information all that information that we need over here is down here so it doesn't make any sense so i'm going to copy all this above this one so a little up so it looks nicer and this can be together and we can leave it like that so that looks good so let's give it a try one more time. Run, and it goes to my other screen. Oh, now we're going to do it. So what's the IP address? Is 192.168.1.110. I have it in my, in my notebook <laughs> next to me. Um, so this one can be the DNS name, as I mentioned, but in my case, just the IP address. So the username is the name for that I use in my channel, Alventril. And the password is going to it's going to be as we have seen before this one over here and type the password for the config mode so that one is this one educate 45 so enter so we're going to go from port 15 to port 25 
and we're going to see what happens. So we're going to wait a few seconds until uh, the script tries to log into the switch. So as you can see here, it uh, we have an error. I have seen it here, but what is it doing? So it's uh, issuing the, the, the command show IP interface brief. So we can see that they are in uh, they, they are up, but nothing is connected to them. So they are they show us down. And now it's telling me that for port in range, la la la, type error can only be can only concatenate a string, not int to a string. So that's over here. So that one is this one, right? No, this one. So it's telling me that uh, last port since I'm um, putting in and in putting that information here last port it's uh, Python is saving it as a string so of course I cannot add the letter B for example plus five it doesn't make any sense so what we have to do in this case since we have changed that I have to put I have to make sure that the ports are well actually only the the last port is the one that's having this problem because I'm adding one to that port. So what we have to do is make sure that the information we are uh, typing is uh, is an integer. We know it is because it's 15, it's 20, but Python is saving it as a string. So we have to do int input like this. And with this, it should work, but we can put it as well here in the for the first port int bank and bam so that should be enough so this int means that everything that we type here it has to be a number of course is going to save it as an integer all right so like one two three four five six one hundred one thousand or something like that now oh yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> so i'm going to run it run module now again we're going to type the same 192 then 168 that one that 110 uh, type the username is solvent drill type the password going to be this one over here and this one is going to be that one no that one the first port is going to be 15 and the last one is going to be 25 so let's see if now works so let's make it a little smaller so it fits now it's printing what it needs to print this is something that we have added in the last video so like a separation between commands and we're still waiting i don't see any error yet uh, okay looks like it's working so in the first part it's going to print as, as, as you can see here we this is the credentials and the port range and at the beginning it's printing uh, the IP show IP interface brief with no configurations yet so you can see all of them are app but nothing is connected to them and then it executes uh, the command chat for interfaces 15 to 25 so as you can see here 14 to 25 did I put 14 15 Oh, 15. Uh, <laughs> I misread that. I thought, why is doing 14? So from 15 to 25, it execute, it issued the command shut down or shut for the contraction. So that's what it's doing. So we know it's working now. And at the end, I type yes. Uh, after it ends all that, I just I just called it to print completed. So that is working. So I'm going to close this. And as you can see here, that's what this script modify the script to it so this is something that you can share with somebody in your um, in your team i would think they are the networking team right so they can they they, they can use the script as well and this can be modified for many other devices uh, again i fi i finally got the second switch so next video i'm going to do two switches to get information to issue not <laughs> to retrieve uh, commands from the switch and to push commands to the switch right so we're going to do two so that way you can see the real value of automation for many for many devices 
Now, uh, so we have this, we can do it that way. Uh, there's another way to do it as well. Maybe you can save all of this in a list and then you, with a four, you don't have to... In, and what I'm trying to say is um, there's another way to ask for all this um, information in just one line, okay? So we might do that in the future. So for this, uh, what we are going to do now is we're going to enable all this one more time. So instead of shot, I'm going to type no shot. And the range is going to be the same. Now, if you have fixed um, uh, IP addresses or, um, or yeah, IP switches, no, no addresses, um, if you know that you're going to be doing the same commands frequently uh, over and over again, so maybe you don't need this part, uh, type the IP address of the device. Maybe you don't need that because you already know where you're going to log in and you just can't have it here. You don't need to change that. So that's another option uh, if you really need that, if that's what you have at your company or maybe that's more useful to you. So now we are going to save it one more time. Uh, control S. And I just wanted to show you this. So we're going to run the command show IP interface brief. So I just, I'm just showing you in the real switch, I'm connected to it using SSH, that the port from 15 to 25 are shut down or administratively down. So we're going to do the, the, the we're going to turn, turn them on or not shut. So we save it and we're going to run. So allow me to bring the screen from, I mean, to bring the idle from my other screen. So the name of uh, the IP of the device is 192.168.1.110. So the username is again the same. Uh, this is the password, the configuration mode. I know it, it's kind of annoying to <laughs> type this every time, but when you have 10 switches, 16 switches, this is nothing. This is very useful when you have many, many switches. Type the first port is going to be 15 to 25. So for one switch, uh, maybe it's interesting because you can do it uh, really quick, but 10 switches, no, it's not worth it to do it that way. I was doing it that way until I found out how to code. So that uh, reduces my work in, I don't know, half maybe. <laughs> So I can do it faster if I need to issue configurations or retrieve information from the switch. So as you can see here, uh, uh, the first part of the script is to run the command without any configuration like this. And the second part, we have the configure, uh, we run the same command show IP interfaces brief after we have issued a command, no shut for these interfaces. So the interfaces are down here. And now from 15, to 25, they are up one more time. The reason it says down is because nothing is physically connected, connected to these ports. So that's why it's showing you like that. And it says completed. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to modify the script that we have done last week or three days, five days ago, and to make it more user-friendly. So you can share this with all other people and they can type their own username and password and they can execute the same the same commands okay so in the next video i'm going to do two switches we're going to configure two what well, we're, we're going to retrieve information first and then we're going to issue commands okay so if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always as you know i'll see you in the next video